Hello, my name is Monkey Loisers, and today we're going to be talking about how to play Sonic the Fighters on PC. Now, there are three ways to play Sonic the Fighters on PC. One of them is on Dolphin, the Gems Collection. It's not suggested to play on the Gems Collection due to the game having an extra four frames of input delay. Honey the Cat is also completely missing from the game. The other way is through the AM2 emulator. This emulates the arcade version of Sonic the Fighters, but it cannot be played online due to it having no netplay built into the emulator, but this can be fixed with Parasect, however. And the third way is with RPCS3, the PS3 emulator. This is the main subject of today's video, so let's get right into it. To get the RPCS3 emulator, you're going to want to go to their website and download the emulator. After you downloaded the emulator, you're also going to want to download the PS3 update file. You can google this and find it pretty easily. Once you have both, just download and unzip them. Now let's get right to the emulator. Welcome to the emulator. Now first, before we begin to install some games on here, you're going to want to install the firmware. First, go up to File. You're going to want to find Install Firmware. Go to your downloads or wherever your firmware file is downloaded and press OK. Once you got the firmware installed, you're ready to get some games. Now, you might be asking, where can I find some games? No! Unacceptable! Well, due to the legal reasons, I cannot tell you, but I'll tell you the file types you need to find. These file types are package files, or PKG, and a wrap file. A PKG file, or a package file, is basically being the game itself, and the wrap file helps activate the game for, I guess, the licensing. So once you've got these files downloaded, you're going to want to go back to the emulator and go back to File. You're going to want to find the Install Package and Wrap Files button. And once you press that, a window will pop up, and you're going to want to find where you downloaded the files. And then once you got the game installed, go back to package wrap files button and open up the wrap file to activate the game. Once you got that all done, the game is now ready to play. One last thing I want to mention is that if you're having issues with your graphics, you can go to your config settings, go to GPU, and change the rendering. Now, RPCS3 doesn't have any netplay. But there is a way to play Sonic the Fighters online, with Parsec. What is Parsec? Parsec is a desktop streaming app. Think of it like stream remote play, but someone connects to your computer and can see your desktop and, and such. But if that makes you feel uncomfortable, don't worry. You can sit where people who join can only see the applications you approved.
to download Parsec, you're going to want to go to their website and press the big download button. Once you get it downloaded, install it. You're also going to want to make a Parsec account, and after you got that all downloaded, you're ready to host or join someone. To host the game, you can send someone a link to your Parsec stream. And once they join, you're ready to go. Just make sure to set up the remotes too. That's all there is to it really. You're ready to play some Sonic the Fighters. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more Sonic the Fighters content. If you want to play with some people, you can join the Sonic the Fighters Discord. And to be updated on any Sonic the Fighters news and upcoming tournaments, you can check out at Sonic underscore Arena on Twitter. Anyways, we hope to see you fighters there.